Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina. Welcome to Insta TV. Yesterday's batch of macroeconomic data provided by U.S. statistical services did not look all that positive. The industrial production report failed to meet the expectations of economists. More signs are appearing that the U.S. industrial sector is in the midst of a recession. In October, the country's industrial output shrank by 0.2 percent, while most analysts had projected a rise by 0.1 percent on a monthly basis. At the same time, the annual growth rate depreciated slightly, with the indicator coming down to 0.3 percent versus 0.4 percent posted over the previous reporting period. The main reason behind the recent slowdown in the U.S. industrial sector remains the high-priced national currency. The goods produced on the territory of the United States are too expensive for foreign consumers, which leads to a contraction in export volumes. Nevertheless, this data did not discourage investors from stepping up purchases of the U.S. dollar. Their primary motive is apparently the increasing interest for the high-yield asset that the U.S. dollar is expected to become following the Fed's mild decision to finally hike its interest rates. Yesterday's inflation report once again convinced most experts that the U.S. economy is ready for monetary tightening. Over the past seven months, the greenback has been trading near its highest levels against most major global currencies. However, what keeps participants of the currency market on the alert is the disturbing situation in Europe. After a series of terrorist attacks in Paris, as well as today's news from the Paris suburbs of Saint-Denis, where a female suicide bomber blew herself up during a special operation carried out by the police. Against this gloomy background, currency exchange rates on Forex have corrected in favor of more secure assets. This was Daily Financial News on Insta TV. Thanks for watching and goodbye.